she's never gonna find love. Okay, and she's supposed to carry out a freaking legacy! Like, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Crafty Summer and we're back with another episode of Cats and Dogs. So, um, in the last part, well, okay. So honestly, let's just talk about a little bit here. So, Lexi has been stressing lately. So, the bills just came in. She couldn't pay them, so she really had to kind of beg her mother to kind of help her out a little bit. Ava's just kind of like, are you sure you can handle being on your own, dear sweetheart? And Lexi is just being a very strong-willed woman and she's telling... She's telling her mom, Ava, no, I'm fine, I am fine. You know, she's kind of waiting until basically the inheritance kicks in and she can have the inheritance. Um, but as of right now, though, it seems to be that it's coming a little bit faster, but who knows? So we'll see. Hmm. Anyways, we're going to go ahead here. We are going to go to the fireworks and um, we're going... Uh, I can't talk anymore. So Dustin just texted us, and he's like, "Hey, let's go. Let, let's go light some fireworks at the Human Hijinks Festival." And like, Lexi is just super excited. So if you guys don't know, Dustin is like the hot vet client that like Lexi has been kind of swooning over a little bit. He has like a cute dog, um, and everything like that. So she's just a so she is just all over this guy. So with this text. She is super excited, so she's gonna say, okay, and we're gonna go catch him up and send my shoe now and have some humor and hijinks. Alrighty, we have arrived at Insan My Shino here for the Humor and Hijinks. Here is our kitty patootie Dustin. So she's gonna go ahead over here and she's going to give Dustin a big hug. Now Lexi, they kind of have different plans today, but um Apparently, he is all over oh. this ish. Oh, okay. And we just got straight up rejected. So, that's a party, and apparently I cannot hear my noise. I, I'm pretty sure I have my sounds on. Let's make sure I have a mix- let me, let me just check my mixture really quickly. Yikes. Lexi just does not get well at all. Flirty disaster! From an unflirty sim making an ancestral romance attempt. Lex tried being Lexi tried be tried being flirty. It just isn't her style. Oh jeez, poor Lexi. Anyways, though, she's gonna be friendly. She is going to get to know. She's got she she's actually going to infuse um infu uh enthuse about cats. One minute here, the guys. Sorry. Um. Okay, that does not work. Hopefully this isn't being heard and... There we go. Oh no, it's getting set up. That's not good. Oh boy. One minute there, guys. Sorry about it there, guys. Um, I couldn't hear anything. It was kind of freaking me out just a little bit because I couldn't hear any noise. But now I hear it. It's all good. Life is good. Okay. And let's get back right to the game. Alright, so Lexi's gonna go ahead, she's gonna have a conversation with Mr. Dustin. Like, <clears throat> it's clear, it, you know, it's clear that Lexi definitely likes Dustin, but it's definitely kind of hard for her to kind of explain how she feels. Um, just because she is awkward and she, you know, she doesn't exactly know how to handle it, pretty much. Like, now she wants to look at her phone, but I'm not gonna make her look at her phone just to hide from Dustin. So, um, like now she is just straight up uncomfortable and I feel so bad for that poor girl. But we have fireworks though, there's tons of fireworks everywhere. Um, there's food, there is like a tiki bar that we can get drinks from as well. It is kind of glitchy I'm seeing. Very glitchy actually. But, it's fine. It's fine. It'll all work out in the end, I promise. Um, but wait for a minute. We can actually drink some tea. And join the jokesters. Actually, we're going to join the jokesters together. 
and like Lexi and Dustin are definitely going to um kind of enjoy their I guess like I guess you can kind of say it's their first little like like get together pretty much not a date but definitely get together um so she's gonna have a thing of, she, she's gonna have a thing of tea and she's gonna join the jokesters and become playful and get her jokes going just a little bit. Oh, what is he eating? He's eating, he's eating some like really foreign food. I don't know how to pronounce. So we're going to be funny with him, and we're going to poke fun at the pranksters. And what else can we do? Oh, this guy's gonna join, join the uh. <laughs> oh yikes! And I just kind of like, kind of make him laugh a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh damn! If they actually had like fireworks. Okay. So apparently Dustin has some sort of expectation with us. Oh right, good to know now. Okay, okay, okay. Um, don't panic yet. We're going to go and buy some uh, swag. I didn't realize that's what he wanted, but that's okay. I'll make it work. It's fine. Girl, we don't talk about moving in yet. Oh, okay. Moving into like, a trash can? I mean, same. She's talking about her money issues because, you know, she's just like so broke that like she can't afford her bills. Had to ask her mom for money, and you know, once mom dies, she might have to go to the dumpster. It's fine. Alright. So, we're gonna go ahead here. We are going to buy some Roman candles for us to light some fireworks with Dustin. Alrighty, we've got some fireworks now. Oh, her tea. Oh, she still has her wine from earlier because we didn't have her wine. Because Dustin decided that he wanted to put, that he wanted to have a date. Okay. Oh, I think I actually kind of want to light it. Yay! There we go. Now we lit the fireworks. He's happy. I hope he's happy, at the very least. Okay, let's do this. <gasps> and then, okay, that was a little bit disappointing. I was have to like, scroll really high. See it, but I don't see it. So that's I am mildly disappointed by that. Anyways, though, we're gonna go back here. We're gonna share. We're gonna share a secret, and we're going to flash some crazy eyes at him. And we're going to impossible sausage mime. There we go. Like, he's just like... Oh my good lord, help me. Okay, we're going to take a nice good picture of them, okay? There we go. There we go. He is such a cute patootie, I love him. Okay. Anyways though, she's gonna kinda keep talking to him, and she's going to like... Should we make the move? We're gonna see. We're gonna see now if we're playful. If making a flirtatious joke will help us just a little bit. Since we are feeling a little bit playful, maybe we can, you know, make the first move. Maybe. Yikes! That did not work out. Yikes. Okay. Um. Ha 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 ha. 
We're going to ask the stargaze then, because Lexi is just a little bit embarrassed. Like, she really thought that was going to work this time. Like, yikes, man. He definitely is not buying into it. Holy moly. Oh, now it works. Oh, that's someone else's fireworks that they're lighting. I'm- okay, I'm triggered. Ours did not work. Okay. Okay, game. Sure. Sure, let's do that. Let's go with that game. Their fireworks work, but yet mine don't. Okay. Sure. Oh my gosh, I love them. And now they're feeling pretty much inspired, which is really nice. But he doesn't want to make a move, and it's- well she- well, okay. Lexi is just really bad. Lexi is just really bad at this, to be honest. Oh yikes, those pranksters are really bad. Okay, um, we're going to be sarcastic about voodoo. Cause I mean, this is easy- f I mean, like, like, this is free money. Like, this is free, easy money. So, I mean, why would I not do this? Honestly. Okay. So, <laughs> No! How did they get ahead so fast? Alright. You know what? Okay. We're gonna get some things queued up here really fast, but we're gonna poke fun at pranksters. We're going to have a knock-knock joke. We're going to basically just go crazy with it. No, they won! I'm sad. I'm really sad now. They won. Oh my gosh. They freaking won. That's not fair. That was easy money that I could have gotten, and I didn't get it. I'm really mad. Okay. So, Lexi is just going to kind of be flirty then. Well, not, just not really flirty. Pathetic pickup line, futile flirt, crudely compliment appearance. Ask completely inappropriate question. Oh my gosh, this poor girl. She's never going to find love. Okay, and she's supposed to carry another freaking legacy! Like, okay. She is definitely not doing so well there, guys. This is gonna be a really, really uphill climb for her, is all I'm gonna say. We're gonna be romantic. Alright, we can't be romantic because she won't, he won't take it! We're going to ask about his career, and we're going to get to just, I guess, at this point, we kind of have to get to know him better just a little bit more. Um, like, yikes. Alright, he's unemployed. <laughs> this is bad there, guys. Like, she really just wants... To just have a relationship with this guy, and she like, I, I feel so bad for her because she totally just wants to like, like, but she doesn't like. She doesn't know how. Like she's like, like she really just doesn't know how. So, I think right now for her, just having these conversations with him will be good. I mean, for all we know, maybe we can get him flirty, maybe, even. Like, who knows? I mean, hopefully he had a good time with us. Like, I'm hoping that, like, he actually did have fun with us today, and that, like, he's not gonna be like, you know what, I'm out of here. A piece of B. Oh, time to go home. Return to active lot. Alright, it's over. Our little daytime's over. So we're gonna... <laughs> she's gonna head back to her active lot, but we're gonna actually go home. So I'll see you guys when we get home. Shh. 
Alright, anyways, you guys, we are back. It seems to be that Charlie got himself in quite a bit of a mess again. He actually... So, we're gonna go ahead here and we're actually gonna take him back inside and give him a bit of a bath, because holy moly, he is filthy. Where is Cupcake? Cupcake's not comfortable right now. It's okay, baby girl. If you guys can he you guys can't hear her, but my cat is currently on my lap. So she like heard Cupcake like meow and she was just kind of like, what the heck's going on? So this is gonna be a bit of a party from my lap again. It's fine. It's my game, you! It's okay. Alright, so anyways though, we're gonna give Charlie a quick bath because he is just covered in dirt. Like, just covered in dirt. And this cat is- and this cat's still screaming. And I'm like, I'm like the lowest volume setting. Okay. I mean, same game. Same. Yikes. Okay, so, she, like, he, okay, Cupcake wants to breed. Cupcake wants to have a little baby. And I am just like, nah, well, we, sh well, we should get kittens and puppies at some point. Yes, Cupcake, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear, Cupcake. So we're gonna go ahead here. We're gonna clean. We're gonna clean up the litter dish. <laughs> I swear, this cat's going to like attack me at some point, just because of Cupcake meowing so much. And I'm gonna fill the bowl too for the animals, and then I think we're actually gonna go ahead and head upstairs really for like for for the night. So we're gonna fill their cat bowl. We are going to um friend. We're, we're gonna be friendly, and we're gonna hug Cup and we're gonna hug Charlie before we go to bed. Cause I think Cupcake is definitely not down for it right now. <laughs> So, oh my goodness, she has to go pee too. Okay, she's gonna go pee before she goes to bed. So that she doesn't have to have like a bladder failure in the morning. That doesn't make me any money, dog. Poop out gold, maybe. Oh, I still didn't pay my dang bills, okay. I don't know why he's whimpering. Okay. Anyways, though, that was kind of a very um, anticlimactic thing to our date. Um, you know, because usually my sister are actually able to like re reel them in the first day, but not this guy. Mm -mm, he is a tough. He is a tough cookie to crack. I think a part of it too is that she's not flirty at all. That's always a hot mess, too, is that she's definitely not the flirty type of sim whatsoever. But, like, she's like, 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 like she wants to find love, though, and she wants to, you know, achieve all that stuff. We are going to lecture her about waking us up. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we're gonna pay our bills really quickly, and then we're also going to, um, jeez. <clears throat> this is just, this is not good there, guys. Not good at all. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. I just like... Uh, honestly, I can't like... 
I'm trying to process what I'm trying to say, but I don't know how to say it. But just like, okay. Oh my good lord, Lexi, I love you. You are such a hot mess. Like I, like, I really think that she really needs to find a way just to, like, get around her awkwardness and, like, you know, defeat it. But, unfortunately, it's not that easy. Oh, what? The bowl food's already empty? No, it's not empty. He's just being a silly dog. Call pet to eat. Silly dog? Oh my good lord. Okay, we're gonna call him over. So that way he'll actually go and eat his dang food. Oh my good lord. And our parents are texting us, giving us like, giving us, it kind of feels like sympathetic texts. I'm gonna be honest, it kind of feels like sympathy. That's like, oh hey, I heard you became friends with Dustin. He's kind of cute, right? Are you like planning on like you know having babies, and making um you know getting babies for us? And Lexi is just like, oh my good lord. Okay, like honestly, I really feel like the I feel I really feel like that like Lexi and Sophia would be like this kind of parents, even though they already have grandkids. But she's definitely being a little bit pickier about. Her grandkids. All right. Oh my good lord. Cupcake is not shutting up. He just like like she just wants to go. Honestly, me. Okay. Anyways, though, we are going to serve. We're gonna have um eggs and toast. I can't remember if she's a vegetarian or not. Cause that trait drives me crazy. Nope, she's good. Oh my good lord. Alright, so she's just take- Oh my good lord! He emptied that bowl fast! Okay, we're gonna fill that bowl too, apparently. So let's just do that first before we get ourselves food, because I know that that- Because apparently that dog would, like, drive us crazy. Oh my good lord. Oh, I kept- And Cupcake is using the tragedy buzz. <gasps> Mom's texting us. Okay. Anyways, there, guys, I'm gonna go ahead here. I'm actually gonna end this part up here. If you guys like this part, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you have not yet joined the Crafty Squad, hit that subscribe button. And also, make sure you have notifications on so that way you get notifications anytime I upload. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.